Hello my YouTube fam, welcome back. So today's video is the long awaited vlog sale. Sorry, this video is a tad late. Unfortunately, I did come down with a virus. I was out of action for a few days, but I am feeling a lot better. Thank you for your well wishes. So finally had a chance to film this video. I'm gonna warn you now, it is going to be a long one. If you wanna grab a cup of tea or a champagne or a coffee, definitely pause the video and get it now because yeah, it's going to be pretty long. So for those of you that have been following me for ages, you know that I did one vlog sale and I was looking back at this like two years ago. So yes, Mel is a little bit of a hoarder and it takes me a long time to decide what I'm going to sell. But I'm pretty proud of myself because there are a lot of items to sell. So I'm going to divide this video into three categories, bags, shoes, and then accessories. In the description bar below, I'm also going to leave the timestamps because, yeah, this video is going to be really long. So if you weren't interested in a particular category, you can just skip to that section of the video. So what I'm going to be going through is whether the item is new or if there is any wear and tear and also doing mod shots. I'm going to be really transparent, guys, and super honest. Anything that I do see, I'm just going to be telling you about it because I want the potential buyer to be happy with the item. So all inquiries will go to my email, which is askmelinmelbourne at gmail.com. And I just ask that only serious inquiries be sent, please. And I will also leave the majority of prices in the description bar below. But big ticketed items, please do email me for prices. And yes, this is open worldwide. So when you do email me, uh, just let me know which country you're from so that I can quote you a shipping cost. But I will only be charging what it costs me. So as I said, everything's going to be in the description bar. So if you had any questions, all the information will be down there. And let's get right into this video. Okay, so the first bag up for sale is this gorgeous Prada bag. This is the Prada double bag. It is a classic line in Prada. It is just gorgeous. I have used this for work. It wears so well. I've had this for a few years now. It is still currently retailing in Prada stores. This is Sapiano leather. As you can see, it is very durable. There, guys, there is nothing wrong with this bag. I would say it is in excellent pristine condition. The only fault I can see in this bag, honestly, is in the inside. And you're not going to be able to see because the lining is dark. Oh, it comes with an adjustable uh, shoulder strap as well. Is that in the inside, there are some very slight indentations. I can't even tell you this any flaws because there is no corner wear or anything. The only thing to mention is it does have four feet. So it's inevitable that there's going to be some hairline scratches on the feet and that's it. It's a really great size for work. I've really enjoyed it. Only reason why I'm selling it is because as I've accumulated more Birkins, I've been actually using my Birkins for work as well. And I've been sort of reaching for my Antigona more for work. And so I just thought this needs to go to a good home. I feel like Prada's had a resurgence and a lot of people love this bag. It's a classic. So uh, it is going to be at a pretty good price. You can check below. So if you're interested, this is just such a great, not even just work bag, just a great everyday bag. So next up, you guys might be surprised with this bag and it is my beautiful Gucci Sylvie top handle bag. And I have nicknamed this my artwork bag because look at it, it is just like a piece of art. And guys, I just have not been reaching for this. No reason, it is beautiful. I bought this like over two years ago. I would say it is in pristine condition. There is no corner wear. There is just nothing wrong with this bag. I do take care of my bags really, really well. But I actually have another Gucci floral bag. So when I was going through this process, I was trying to be a little bit ruthless, which I'm quite proud of myself. But I just know that one of you will love this. This is still retailing in Gucci stores. Yes, I will be selling this less than, you know, retail price. I did a lot of research into pricing, so I feel my pricing is very fair. And oh, I forgot to to mention everything in the description bar I will let you know what it comes with like if it comes with the dust bag or the box or everything but yeah this comes with everything it also comes with a 
detachable shoulder strap and as you can see from the mod shot it looks great worn on the shoulder but personally the way that I loved wearing this is handheld it just looks gorgeous at the crook of your arm it is just yeah a beautiful bag and I just want to mention one thing it's going to be hard to see but there are like very sort of faint it looks like sort of lines through the leather but that is not a fault at all that is just part of the leather it is actually really really hard to see I'm probably being a bit sort of picky but I just want to mention everything so you will see that on all of these bags because when I picked this all of them had it so I just wanted to mention that so that's the second bag so next up is my pretty in pink Clooney BB this is in rose ballerine in epi leather which is very durable this is such a pretty bag I really I, I have actually used this quite a bit and there is no wear as well this is worn so well I would say this is also in excellent condition it also does come with a shoulder strap this shoulder strap is not adjustable though just to let you know so comes with a little sort of clochette and yeah I'll give you a dust bag as well to hold all those items in yeah inside is in pristine condition it comes with everything look I still have the blue sticker here the only thing I want to mention very slightly on this there's no wet corner wear there's no scratches nothing is when I bought this bag and for those of you that are interested in this I will try to show a close-up of this on the very very top of this bag like right here you're not going to be able to see there's this little line here it is not a scratch it is just part of the leather when I bought the bag it was there already it's not anything wrong with it. it's not a scratch it looks like a I don't even know how to describe it but when if for those of you interested I will send you a picture but in some lights I can see it in some lights I can't see it but it's just like right here so it's not very noticeable at all but as I said I would mention anything that I see it does have four feet and on the feet, which is inevitable for any bag with feet, is that it has, you know, slight hairline scratches. I mean, I always try to put my bags, you know, on a chair or anything, but sometimes it just can't be helped. So there's some very faint, you know, hairline scratches. It is also still available in the LV store. And yes, I will be selling under retail price. So next is the bag you've probably never seen me wear. And I need to be honest, I have not worn this bag in probably like three years I know that's why it is sitting in its dust bag it is a Givenchy I remember when I first got it my goodness I used it so much but bigger bags are coming back in even though I love the mini bag trend this bag is just a little too big for me now for my lifestyle and it is the Givenchy Nightingale bag. Now this is the longer version. There is a version that's a little bit shorter, but this is the longer version. I thought this would be great for those of you that may be taller or for my male viewers out there. It is in this gorgeous brown and black with silver hardware. It does come with a detachable strap as well. I love this zipper detail. The leather is just so soft, so supple. And for the amount of times I use this, it has worn really well. Like it fits a ton inside, a ton. So this bag here is one of Givenchy's bags that did really well. I think, I'm not sure if they still sell this or not. Um, they may sell the smaller version, but definitely this long version has, it's no longer available. Now there is a little bit of wear on this bag. I would still say overall it is in very good condition, but the wear is that on the bottom of this bag, there is can you see there there is sort of like a mark here but since it's at the bottom of the bag honestly you don't really see it and also in terms of corner wear there is a little bit of corner wear like not it's really not too bad I would say the main thing is the base that the, because it doesn't have any feet if it's on the ground there was some marks here and there's sort of like a scuff mark here so other than that guys if I'm really looking at the leather there is no scratches it is I don't this this leather I just wish they made bags more like this because it has been used I can't tell you how many times it's been used and it's just held up so so well 
So this bag here, you'll see me modeling it. It does look quite big for my frame. As I said, big bags are coming back. And if you, especially if you're tall, for reference, I'm only 164 centimeters tall. So if you're taller than me, I think this is a great bag, great everyday bag. And plus it does have the detachable shoulder strap. So this will be priced really, really well. Um, and yeah, if you want to pick up your first designer bag, I think this is a great option for you, for those of you that do like bigger bags. So next is actually a bag that my sister gave to me a few years ago. This bag I usually just use for work, but I haven't been reaching for it that much as well. So I thought it's a good time for it to go to a new home and it is the gorgeous Hermes garden party bag. This is in size 36. It is in a very durable leather. Um, I'm not 100% sure what leather this is, but I'm pretty sure it's either Nogonda or country leather. And it is a pebbled leather. It's specifically made for these bags because it is very durable. My sister used this oh, daily, like she used it so much and then she just got a new one. So she gave it to me. I thought it would be great for work. I did use it for work, but as I said, I've just been using some other bags. So this bag here, I'm not exactly sure of what color it's called, but it is just a beautiful blue. I think it's quite similar to blue agate, if I'm not mistaken. If I do know the color or I do find out, I'll leave it in the description bar below. Now inside it is in, um, so it's a button closure, oh I have my 7RP uh, insert in there. So in here it is just in the herringbone lining. I would say the inside is pretty clean, however she did in the zipper have a pen in there. So inside here there are some pen, pen marks, I don't know if you guys can see. There are some sort of pen marks there so I wanted to mention that but it's in the zipper so when you close it up really inside is in a pretty clean condition if you can see there. Now the main thing I want to point out in this bag is that there is corner wear and that's why it is going to be priced accordingly. For those of you this is a great Hermes uh, entry price point bag but I will be selling this at a really good price because there is some corner wear. If you notice here there's a bit of corner wear here. Um, this side is not as bad but there is corner wear because as I said she used this bag so much. So there there is some corner wear there as well and yeah on I would say on all four corners there is corner wear. For everything that I have mentioned, you know, that are in excellent or pristine condition, I don't have photos for anything because, you know, if there's no marks or anything, I don't have photos. But for those of you that are interested in this, if you want to see close-up pictures of this, of course, I'm more than happy when you email me and you're interested that to show you photos of this. But what I recommend is if you take this to a spa, they can fix it all up for you and it will look like brand new. Outside the condition is still really good. The structure is still good. And you know, with this type of leather, because it is more sort of slouchier, it's supposed to have a bit more of a slouchy feel to it. And it's just a great time if you're looking, especially for your first Hermes bag. I have priced this up very reasonably because I do want one of you to own like an Hermes bag. If you were interested in this one, grab yourself a bargain and you can get your first Hermes bag. Next up is a bag that was a very late addition to this because I was umming and ahhing, but it is very similar in terms of end use to my Picatin, which I just added, as you know, another black bag. So I thought, no, one of them has to go. And this is very similar to it in the sense that it is a sort of like a bucket bag style. I bought this two and a half years ago in Paris. This is very sought after, guys. The shape is still in Chanel. They sell out very quickly, but what makes this one so special is that it is in deer leather. So it is very squishy as you can see. So I have used this for travel and it retains its shape even though it's squishy. It sort of like bounces back into shape. So as I said, this is in deer leather. It does come with a shoulder strap as well. I wear it with the shoulder strap or I just wear it, you know, handheld. Both ways looks gorgeous and I would say this bag is in excellent condition. Now the two things I want to mention about this bag. Whoever does have this bag, this is also inevitable but as I said I'll always mention everything. See the chain mechanism? 
how it works is you push the CC down and that's how you maneuver the opening. Open, close, open, close. So as you open and close it, open and close it, inevitably there is going to be a bit of rubbing against the leather. So everyone I know that has this bag, you know, there is on the leather, you know, somewhere along this chain because, you know, it sort of rubs. And likewise, as this is continually sort of like opening and closing through these um, rivets, it does have a little bit of wear. So you'll see all along sort of like the sides of the leather, there is some sort of rubbing. But as I said, that's also inevitable with these sort of bags. Other than that, I also want to mention there is a teeny tiny on one of the corners. See, I can't even find it. Oh, here it is. Here on one corner, there's a tiny, tiny little mark like a little wear I would say very very tiny and that is pretty good considering how much I use this bag but as I added the Picatinn I have so many black bags oh my goodness um if you haven't seen my entire black bag handbag collection I will link it above you will know why I had to try and cull one of my black bags so unfortunately this little baby has to go I really want it to go to a good home so if you're really interested please serious inquiries only to my email and that is my Chanel bucket bag with shiny ruthenium hardware and my final bag for sale is a very special one this is my sister's and the only reason she is selling it is because she got another version um, in the color that she wanted. This is a great opportunity for one of you guys to own it because it is none other than da -da -da, the Chanel Rectangular Mini. Oh my goodness, guys, how beautiful is this bag? Everyone knows that the Chanel Mini is like, the minute it hits stores, it sells out so quickly. So this is in chevron, it is in lambskin, but this one feels like it's a bit more durable and the chevron, this is really puffy. It is with beautiful champagne gold hardware and the color uh, on the tag, it said gray. So it is just so hard to get. She told me that I think in the Melbourne boutique, they only got one or two. I don't even think Chadston got this. I've never seen this. It's like gray, but it's got a slight blue undertone. It is just so, so beautiful. But I was like, no, I've got a mini. I've got a square mini. I've got to use my bags. No. So this one will be going for more than retail, current Australian retail, but not selling for like some crazy prices. I know, you know, I've seen on eBay on, and resellers, they go for like six and a half, seven thousand. No, it's not going to be anywhere near that, but it is going to be a little bit more than retail just because it's so hard to get. It's going to come new, like from the boutique and see from here, it says it's from the 18B collection. Yep. It says dark gray. So they still, she still then has the card. Obviously you've got the authenticity card. It's still wrapped up. So it is a 26 series, I believe. Let me just have a quick look. Yes, 26 series. So it's still wrapped up. I told you it's never, it's just, yeah, gonna come like as if you got it from the boutique wrapped up. I still have the, you know, she still had everything, the box, Camila ribbon, everything. And the Chanel mini just goes with everything. So, if you're interested in this baby, quickly do email. Let's talk about shoes. So all the shoes I have for sale are brand new in box. And why I'm selling all these shoes is because I know you guys have requested a closet tour. So I'm slowly going through my closet and decluttering. Yes, I will do a closet tour guys, but I don't know when that will be, but hopefully in the next month or so. But anyway, all these shoes are brand new in box. And for reference, the size of my feet, I am normally a 37 and a half to 38 or a US size seven. It really depends on the shoe. But for these shoes, I will be trying them on for you just for you to see what it looks like on the feet. That was a feedback last time because the first time I didn't try the shoes and I was like, oh, we really want you to try the shoes. No, so I will be trying it on for you. If you're the same size foot as me, this may be your lucky day because yeah, I am selling these shoes at really, really good prices. So let's just start off with a pair of Sergio Rossi's. So as I said, brand new in box. It has not been, you know, worn. All of them come with dust bags and everything. 
And these are a pair of suede uh, eyelet pumps with a very slight platform. It is a rounded toe. I would say these in terms of heel height, it's probably about 10 centimeters or so, but you don't feel it as much because you've got the slight platform. Only reason why I'm selling these is because I need to get rid of some of my shoes because yeah, I like shoes as well and I just haven't worn them and I've got lots of shoes and I think they're really great in terms of they're really neutral. If you love a little bit of eyelet detail, I think these are the shoes for you and they will be priced really well. I think I paid like 700 or something and then for a couple of these I'm just selling them all for like 295 Australian dollars. So yeah, pick yourself up a bargain. Next is a pair of Marnie sandals, brand new in box, still has the sticker. So these ones are actually a lower heel height. So dust bag as well. And they look like this, which is very Marnie-esque. Even if you look at current Marnie ranges, they still have this all this sort of detailing. I don't even know what it's sort of called, but it's sort of this sort of stitching sort of detail. So it's got a little kitten heel. So it is very, very comfortable. But yeah, I just haven't used them. And I do have quite a lot of black shoes black sandals so these ones had to go brand new as you can see nothing so these are in size 38 they are very comfortable these are another one that i think i paid maybe about 700 or something for but i'm also selling this one for 295 so next up i'm very sad to see these go i unboxed them a few months ago they were so hard to get because australia did not stock this particular item i actually had to get it from a personal shopper and it is these gorgeous pair of Hermes loafers. They're actually called the Royal Loafers. And yeah, Australia never got them. I had to get my Paris personal shopper to get them. And I thought that they would fit, but honestly, I need to size down. So the only reason why I'm selling these is because I want to buy another pair. And these ones are in a size 38. I really need a 37 and a half or 37. Personally, for me, I know you can put insoles in and stuff like that, but I prefer not to do insoles. So very comfortable. For those of you that own this one or even the Paris, if you do own the Paris loafer, it's the same sort of shape. It just has the tassel detail. So I will just be selling it for the price I paid for it from the personal shopper. So if you are wanting these shoes, as I said, they're very, very hard to get. They've sold out, you know, on a lot of like international websites from what I've seen. Do grab it if you're a size 38. These are just such classic loafers. You can't get more classic than Hermes. Yes, it also comes in box with the dust bag and everything. I just quickly took it out to show you. And next is a pair of Alexander Wang shoes. They're sandals. It is in a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So yes, dust bag. Oh, this dust bag is really nice. So this is in a beautiful ox blood and it does have a thicker ankle strap like this. I would say the heel height is maybe about three and a half inches, maybe like eight or nine centimeters. And yes, not worn as well. Oh, I've realized I've even got a protective sticker uh, on there as well, so bonus. Unfortunately, I don't sell those stickers anymore. And yeah, so obviously I had every intention of wearing it because I already bought these to put on. And there's nothing wrong with it, guys. The only reason why I'm selling it is because I had to pick some shoes to cull. So if you were after these shoes, I'm also selling them for much cheaper than what I paid for them. Prices will be in the description bar and they look gorgeous on. So if you love a bit of an ankle strap, it does hold the foot in very well, then these sandals are great for you. And the last pair of shoes I have for sale and I didn't want to sell these, but I have not worn them. You know, when you're guilty of buying something, you leave it in the box and, well, I didn't really leave it in the box. It was on display, but I just have not worn them because I was just hoping that it would work for me. You know, when you just want something to work so much for you and it doesn't, well, this just does not work for my feet. And it is from Chanel. It is the Chanel Espadrilles in lambskin leather in the black. I know these are so, so popular. They have not been worn. The only time I've worn them is at home just to like, you know, see if I can sort of get used to them. I do have the beige and the black ones, which I have worn a few times, not as much as I should, but these babies have not been worn at all. 
So brand new in box. I know this size sells out very quickly in store. It is in a size 38. So if you are a 38 in Chanel Espadrilles, I am just selling them. It is going to be slightly less than retail what is selling for now, but yeah, they're just brand new. Nothing wrong with them. I know people swear by these and they have a whole collection, which I can understand, but I have a very high instep and they just, they just don't work for me, unfortunately, but the Chanel pumps definitely do, but these ones unfortunately don't. So how are you guys going? I did warn you it would be a long video and there's a lot of things to sell, but we are up to our final category, which is accessories. I really hope this feels like we're in the same room, in a lounge room, and I'm just showing you all these goodies because yeah, we're family, right? So first up is this cute Chanel brooch. I will do a close up of it as well. This sold out so quickly. I actually had to get it I can't even remember where I bought this from, maybe overseas. But anyway, it was really hard to get. Only reason why I'm selling it was because initially when I did want to get these little brooches, I wanted to do clusters and I never ended up buying little brooches to cluster up. So I thought, no, this should probably go. There's probably some other Chanel brooches I should sell, but little steps, baby steps, Mel. So this little cutie, it does come in the box with everything. I think I've used this once, guys. Other than that, it's in perfect condition. It's just like being pinned to one of my jackets. So yeah, that's the first item. And next up is in this box here. And also, this has only been maybe taken out once and maybe once or twice for Instagram photos and I just have not used it. It is a crying shame and it was a gift from hubby, but I just don't use it and it is too gorgeous not to use and I know there are many fans out there of this particular style and wait till I show you the color guys. Ta-da! Yes, it is in, yes, it's like the Tiffany blue. It is actually in blue atoll though. This is called the Kelly wallet. It is in the mini size and it is brand, pretty much brand spanking news. I said only been taken out for Instagram photos. So that's what it looks like on the inside. The Kelly, it's called the Kelly because it looks like the Kelly, as you can see, the style there like that. And you can close it up. But what I find is you can just sort of tuck that under. It is just gorgeous. And I don't believe that they have blue at all in this wallet. A lot of people also use it as like a little mini clutch. And it is just so, so cute. There it's just, it's, it's look, it's still even on the lock here. It still has the protective cover on it. It's got lots of card slots, you know, room for cash but I just really prefer card holders nowadays as my mini wallets. And especially since, as you would know from Hawaii, I picked up the Tiffany Blue Chanel card holder. I just couldn't justify keeping this one and it's just been sitting there beautifully in its package. You know, it comes with the ribbon, all the dust protective cover, everything. It is just, it's beautiful. So if you are a Tiffany Blue lover, this is the wallet for you. How gorgeous is it? And the final accessory I have for sale is this cutie. This is no longer available. As you know, LV does special sort of uh, Christmas editions. This is the transatlantic one and I've got the monogram version. I think I've probably only used this twice. There is nothing wrong with it. It is in as new condition. It comes with box, dust bag, everything. Only reason why I'm selling it is because I have two other mini pochettes, which I use a lot. So I will be letting this baby go. I haven't seen it for sale online when I did a quick search for prices. I also know that because of the rarity of these and because they're limited, they sell for way over retail as well. So I've priced mine accordingly, but it is not that much more. I think it's priced very reasonably. So if you do collect these or you would after this pattern, then this is such a great piece. The mini pochette is something that I love and in my Damiette Iben is the one I use every day. So that is it guys, that is all the items I have for sale. It was quite hard to part with them but I just know they're going to go to good homes and then that makes me so happy. So I'm just going to run through it very quickly again. If you were interested, email me at askmelanmelbourne.gmail.com. 
Now, this is the fairest way that I ran my first vlog sale like two years ago. So basically, I will answer all inquiries as they come in. There will be no holds on any items. And the item will go to the person that pays first. So it will be sold on a first come, first serve basis. So for example, just say three people will email me at the same time. And by the way, guys, I will answer as the emails come in about say the Chanel espadrilles. Whoever gets back to me first and says, I want it and pays, they will be the one that gets the item. Items do sell out very, very quickly. I do think I've been fair with pricing. I did do a lot of research. So yes, I will absolutely answer as they come in. Remember, please do leave the country you're from because then I can give postage quotes. Everything will be through PayPal. If you are within Australia, there will be the option if you wanted to pay through PayPal friends and family. For all the rest of the world, I do need to add a 4% charge to that because that's the fees that PayPal charged me. I wish we had Venmo, I believe. I think the USA, you guys have that, but we don't have it. So. PayPal just charges me that fee. There's no friends and family if you wanted to do it overseas because they still charge me that cost. All the prices below are listed in Australian dollars. In terms of shipping guys, I'm not here to make a profit. I will just charge what the post office charges me. And please, please guys, just know that it's only gonna be me answering all these inquiries. So I just ask for a little bit of patience. I will try and answer all your emails as quick as possible, but just know I'm still working, the kids are on school holidays, and yeah, it's just a busy time of year, but absolutely I will answer as quick as possible as they come in. As items sell, I'll be sure to mark them off sold in the description bar below. So if you're not sure, do come back and check in this video because I will be quite vigilant in doing that. If there are any further questions, I think you'll find everything in the description bar or you can just email me when you're inquiring about the product. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog sale. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.